back on Y98. It's Entertainment Schmig. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to get through this thing called life. Electric word, life, it means forever, and that's a mighty long time. But I'm here to tell you, there's something else. The afterworld. A world of never-ending happiness. You can always see the sun. Day or night. So when you call up that shrink in Beverly Hills, you're the one, everything will be all right. <laughs> Gosh, listening to those lyrics yesterday, it was eerie. I mean, it just was a punch in the gut, I think, for everybody when we found out the news that Prince died yesterday at the age of 57. Here's what we know so far, and it kind of started with a suspicious story earlier this week from TMZ that uh, Friday night, last Friday at 1 a.m., Prince was flying back to Minneapolis, and his private jet had to make an emergency landing in Moline, Illinois. They said he was treated at the hospital there, and he was suffering from the flu. But um, now the story is coming. Now a different story is coming out. Um, apparently, he was rushed to the hospital so doctors could give him a so-called save shot because he had suffered an overdose. Like a Narcan. Yeah. Reversing agent. Mm. And he left after just three hours, even though doctors told him to stay in the hospital for at least 24. But he couldn't get a private room. Yeah, he couldn't get a private room. So they're performing an autopsy on Prince's body today. He was found in his Paisley Park mansion yesterday morning, found unresponsive in an elevator. Paramedics couldn't revive him. And after 25 minutes, they pronounced him dead. There's also a photo from TMZ, which broke the story. Um, of him leaving a Walgreens late the night before, and the the people working at the pharmacy said it was the fourth time he had been there that week, and he looked really frail and weak. He did not look well. Am I the only one that thinks TMZ needs to work on the terrorism problem? Right. Yeah, yeah. they know everything. No everything. Doubt. And, and you don't question what they report. Right. They kept sending out these veiled emails yesterday. I got one, then I got another one four minutes later, then I got another one nine minutes later. They kept saying someone was found dead at Paisley Park, and I thought to myself, why do they keep sending this out if it's just somebody? somebody. Yeah. I said, I do not have a good feeling about this. And sadly, yeah, we found out to like 10 minutes later that just, Prince had it died. Just heartbreaking. I know. Yeah. Just I was so bummed all day yesterday. Thinking yeah. about it. Well, and then another punch in the gut for St. Louis. We got word the secret that had been held so tight for the last few weeks. Prince was supposed to play a pop-up show, two actually, at the Fox Theater this past Monday, the 18th. But because he was sick, he ended up scrapping the show. He was going to postpone it until a later date. But everybody at the Fox was like, waiting on pins and needles right. to, I guess, Monday, say, Prince. he's coming. Yeah. Here's he's where here. you can get tickets. Here's <laughs> the wow. poster. Here, I mean, it was going to be such an awesome event. I'm still amazed that he performed in Atlanta and right. went through with the show. Yeah, shows. he was really sick, and they said that he put on an incredible right. show. Yeah, so, you know, he gets released from the hospital on Friday. The next night, he shows up in Atlanta, and he said something really odd, like, save your prayers, you know, I'm until I need them. Yeah, I'm not de dead yet. But and he performed Purple Rain for the last time. A few people got it on video and they said it was absolutely amazing. It's weird to think that's the last time he sang that song. Right. Just days before he died. Courtney said it felt like he put out an album every year. He actually did. <laughs> his career spanned wow. 38 years, and he put out 39 albums. Wow. He wrote his first song, I, I read this morning, when he was seven. Yeah. And not not even mentioning the people he wrote songs for that had huge hits. Yes. Oh, yeah. Sinead O'Connor's Nothing Compares to You. The Bangles, Matic Monday, Round and Round by Tevin Campbell. No, 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 uh, no. Jungle, I like that song. Jungle Love by Morris Day in the Time. I Feel for You by Shaka, Shaka Khan. Shaka, Shaka, Shaka Khan. Khan. Uh, and Stand Back by I did Stevie Nicks. He co-wrote that Stan, with her. I didn't and, know that. And she tweeted that 
he was, uh, what did she say? She tweeted something really pretty yesterday about yeah. him. I had no idea he co-wrote that song. He even co- he even wrote a song for Kenny Rogers. He used a pen name. Yeah. What song was it? Do you know? Oh, I saw it earlier this morning. Nah, and his, don't worry about his it. name was like something Coco. <laughs> <laughs> that was his code name. I love that. Though, but you see, that, that he was dipping into the other well. Artists yeah. loved him. Because, yeah, of course. Was a genius. I mean, there's no question about it. It's amazing. And Justin Timberlake posted this great tribute about him. He said, they say, don't meet your idols, that they let you down. But some of my greatest, funniest, yes, he was that hilarious, and most prolific encounters and conversations about music came from the moments that I spent with Prince. It would be silly to say that he has inspired our music. It's beyond that. He's somewhere within every song I've ever written. Madonna said he changed the world, a true visionary. What a loss. I'm devastated. This is not a love song. And Bono posted the lyrics to his song, The Cross, from Sign of the Times. And he said, I never met Mozart. I never met Duke Ellington or Charlie Parker. I never met Elvis, but I met Prince. Think about the 80s. You had Michael Jackson. You had Madonna. You two... I'll maybe even throw Bruce Springsteen in there and Prince. Yeah. I mean, those were your big five. And Prince just had so many hits. It was unreal. Um, just 45 minutes after we found out that Prince died, uh, iTunes, it was all Prince, all of his songs. But even more interesting is where you couldn't find his music. A lot of people went to YouTube, YouTube and yeah. Spotify and Pandora and Apple Music. Oh, no. yeah, no, no. You know, this is the guy who changed his name to the artist formerly known as Prince because he was having a dispute with his record label, Warner Brothers. Sure. And he, he wrote, left them, in He fact. wrote Slave on his face. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, he kind of fought against the music establishment. So a lot of people are like, Prince, where's where he go? <laughs> Where yeah. are his songs? Yeah, and, and I can remember one time hearing that he... Um, uh, he he moved people down from like the back row to the front row. At his he shows, he, yeah, he didn't like anybody scalping tickets and you know oh, profiting yeah. from. You know, he wanted only his fans to be. That's, that's cool. why those yeah. pop up shows are so important to him. Yeah, yeah. And the last time he played here was Cinco de Mayo at Sava Center in two thousand four. Before that, he played. That's where we saw we saw him then. Yeah. Savas in 2000, Keel in 97. He played two back to back dates at the St. Louis Arena in 1984, Checker Dome in 82, and the Keel Auditorium in 1980. I was here for all of them, and I only <laughs> went to one of them. Yeah, me too. You went to the last yeah. one, though. What, what did we I... say about going to see people? Because you're like, yeah. oh, I'll catch him next time. Right, sure. I was working nights, and I was like, oh, surely he'll be back. I'm busy tonight. Yeah. 12 years later, nope. Didn't almost made it back. Almost made it back. Um, since he took most of his songs off of YouTube, one of the few that you can find actually is what the NFL bad posted. Oh, oh yeah, bad dance. bad dance. Hey, let's not overlook bad I dance. I love bad dance. Huge hit. That was one of his few number one yeah. albums. Oh, I loved it. Um, his performance at the Super Bowl halftime show where Beyonce joined him. The NFL was talking. It was the first time that it had rained, like the morning of the Super Bowl. And they called him up and they said, can you do this in the rain? And he said, can you make it rain more? And if you watch his performance of Purple Rain, where the rain is just pouring down. I mean, it's like a religious experience. People were talking about that Super Bowl halftime show all over social media yesterday. And lots of tributes popping up online. We have them online at Y98.com. The world lights up purple for Prince. It was really it's, impressive. Yeah, it's impressive. I-35 yes. in Minneapolis. The Twins Target Field. It was pouring down rain yesterday at the ballpark. And they had all of their signs illuminated uh, purple and pictures of Prince up there. Niagara Falls was illuminated yeah. purple because of the Queen's birthday yesterday. They unintentionally had a oh, tribute to Prince oh, wow. before we even knew. <laughs> Crazy. Way to go, Niagara Falls. <laughs> and uh, you can see all the other pictures online at Y98.com. The Philly-